So apparently a couple weeks ago, Way of the Hunter actually came out. I literally just found out this game came out, so I went ahead and bought it, and we're gonna play it for the first time ever. Now I will give you a disclaimer. This game is the direct competitor to Hunter Call of the Wild. Hunter Call of the Wild takes care of me. They talk to me. They give me cool stuff. Way of the Hunter does not talk to me. So if this game is terrible, I'm going to tell you this game's terrible. Here we go. I mean, I knew the game was coming out, but I, I thought it was going to be in like December or something. All right, here we go. We spawned in at a lodge, I guess. Where's my gun? Oh, there's a bear. Jeez, what is that? First thing, we need to go to the mailbox and find some kind of key. All right, let's get the key. Let's get this started. <laughs> Thank God we have a trustworthy mailman. All right, this is our lodge. It's been a long time since I was here. This guy's weird. I know that. Who shut the door? Who shut the door? Is this a horror game and I just don't know it? If something's about to jump out at me, I will put my fist through this computer. You're telling me that this place was locked up, no one's been here for a long time, and there's a fire going? What? All right, let's get a gun out. What are we working with? Oh, okay. Let's see what we're working with. We have a lever action. I literally just bought this scope in real life. Dude, this is sick. I don't think I have ammo for it. Oh, dude, look at me just holding the gun. Let's aim down sight. Aim down sight. Okay, can't. Okay. All right, let's leave this place. Let's go shoot something. Dude, I gotta go to the second floor. I just want to let you guys know this video might be kind of different because I have no idea what I'm doing and every single time I load into a new game, it takes me like three episodes to actually figure out how to kill the first animal. Just letting y'all know and whoever that is, do not know someone keeps closing the doors. I'm about, I'm getting fired up. If I, if I see a ghost, I'm uninstalling the game. Alright, pull out the binoculars. Oh, dude, I've already got range finding. This is sick. It shows how far everything is. So, now I cannot, I cannot deny that this looks stinking sick okay like this is sick i don't know how far animals render but i can straight up look over there and i can see over a mile away which in reality you can do that and in reality you can see animals if your optics are good enough way way out there oh snap there's animals see they're 600 yards away and they're just like pin dots dude that's what you get them big spotting scopes for to look out and buy a kiss you can see way out there let's look up there apparently that's a mountain it's almost a thousand yards away i can't even tell if there's animals over there kind of realistic because if an animal is out there in real life you're gonna miss it because it's just hard to see unless you're really good which no cap no cap i went bear hunting in this video on my main channel i literally spotted a bear at like two miles away i was blown away I, I didn't I can't I couldn't even believe I've done it for real though if you've not seen that video you you like actually need to go watch it all right here's the map you've discovered, discovered Nespers Valley grassland habitat Bet. open country for beginners and seasoned veterans alike the meadows serve as prime feeding areas for both pheasants and badgers I bet. undisturbed grasslands with tall grass have the potential to hold a lot of small but also some bigger game that raises another question how big is this map actually because we know hunter call the wild you can't hardly walk from one end to the other apparently there's a car let's check it out and i can tell you right now that little bumper right there better take a good look at it because it ain't gonna look like that for long we're gonna go around over some deer it's faster. oh my goodness about hit it one time rambo let's go look for them deer Is them deer still there oh they're still there hit them oh, there's a buck kill it kill it oh Oh! 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 How do I get out of here? Here, switch guns, switch guns, 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 guns! Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh! This game is awesome! Oh my gosh! That was insane! Can I climb this thing? What does all this mean? So my hunt rating and trophy rating were both wasted since they were roadkill. But let me tell you right now, I just got 50 bucks out of that thing. My family just asked if I was okay because they heard uncontrollable screaming. I said, I'm a little bit better than good. I'm high on life. Dude, this is amazing! A game that you can actually roadkill stuff. Finally! Oh, dude, look at all these deer. I'm gonna claim these kind of fast. That one's 61 bucks. Honestly, for my first kill in the game, I done it with a stinking Jeep. I couldn't be happy. Could not be happy. A doe, 20 bucks. I wonder what it's gonna be like if I actually shoot one. And I wonder how much things cost in this game. Like, are they gonna cost as much as they actually would in real life? That was a good buck right there. Do I have a map somewhere I can look at? How do I look at a map? Oh! Wait a minute, what? 
There's vehicle storage? You, there's no way. I can't get in with a buddy, can I? I've always wanted to get on a four-wheeler with a buddy and let him just mow down animals as I ride beside him. Dude, this Jeep's stinking sick. So far, so good. I've not actually killed anything ethically yet, but they ain't no game wardens around here, and it looks ethical to me. Now, I'll say this. If they put horses in the game, I'm sold. Let's leave the car here. All right, we're leaving the car. My hunter sense. What's my hunter scent? Tracks and stuff? Let's pull out the binoculars and let's look up this valley and see if there's anything up there. I'd really like to get an actual ethical kill before this first video's over. I'm not seeing anything though. Reach the ladder stand. Dude, not kidding? This first little gun with the loophole? I'm, I'm happy about this. I like that little setup. I mean, I shot one deer like four times. I never even went to see if I could find it. Maybe this isn't a horror game. Maybe it yeah. is actually a hunting game. Oh, look at this. This nice little rock pile. What? So is, is this the first time, time I actually see my friend? See what I look like? Cool. Oh, I can fast travel here? Oh, here's the map. Okay. Whoa. This is sick. As you zoom in, it turns into a 3D map. Apparently, I can fast travel here, and then I can fast travel here. The bear den range. Let's go there. Okay, this is the shooting range, I guess. Oh, yeah, this is the shooting range. Cool. Let's do it. Burn them up, boy. Okay, holding breath is shift. Heck yeah! That one way out there is 200? Let's zero at 100 and see what happens, see what I can do at 200. See, it drops. Did you see that? It drops. Now, in real life, you really can't see that, and this isn't super realistic that you can see your bullet, but it's a nice touch for a game. And this 2x7 scope kind of reaches its little limit at 200. Missed it again. I don't know, guys, that's just how it is. I like this gun. It probably kills, but uh, it's obviously not the best for long range. I mean, perfect scope for this gun, but uh, you know, that's this gun. Let's fast travel somewhere else. Oh, we can't fast travel up here. Well, that stinks. My car is way down there. Let's just go straight through the woods and see what it turns out to be. Actually, let's get our binoculars because you never know when you may look over there and you may find an animal that you want to go shoot. We're right here on the river bottom, so I mean, th there could be animals all around here. I don't know how need zones work. I don't know how anything works in this game but we'll figure it out i think all right let's check out this handwritten hey, Wallace, note don't forget to take care of the badgers wreaking havoc behind the lodge <laughs> sincerely myself the badgers bring them on they're about to get red I'm, I'm coming here to wreck the world i'm here i'm here i'm bad news i got my grandpa's 30 30 with a two by seven little pot on top. It's about to be devastating. But before we get too far, let me go ahead and zero back to 100. That's where I wanna be. This might be our first ethical kill. I didn't get this part on camera because I stopped recording for some reason. But whenever I shoot in the targets, he said 200 yards, a little far for an ethical deer shot. But we like to practice at that distance. And are you serious? 200 yards? It's a game. I'ma shoot deer at 800. You best believe. I'ma be shooting at deer until I literally can't even see them in the sky. There's a stinking badger. Goodness, man. I hit one of them. Reload real big. Hot shot. You only got 18 left. You, ain't, you really ain't got that many. All right, let's get up in here. There's a bunch of badgers, dude. I mean, I hit that one, but it didn't die. What exactly does that mean? Did I not hit it in the vitals? Stinking badger. I'm shooting a 30-30. Now, before we lay in on these badgers, take a look at kennelgrave1.com slash shop. If you want anything, use promo code GAMING10. That's going to get you 10% off whatever you want. Just because you watch the gaming channel and you're awesome. My personal favorite? This. The Army Green Animal Tracks t-shirt. Now let's destroy some groundhogs. Hand out the not groundhogs. I don't care what they are. But I don't see them. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. There's no way he's still moving. There's no way that he is still moving. What? No way. It's a 30-30. Ah, howard. What happens if I don't? <sighs> okay. We gotta come up here and find the blood trail. Pretty interested to see how exactly does blood tracking work in this game. Hunter Call of the Wild, I like it. I mean, it's all right, I guess. Um, Hunting Simulator 2, it's awesome. But how do they do it in this game? Here's where I guess the initial shot, no? Let's go down to where I first shot it. Uh, oh, here's some dookie. Okay. Where'd I shoot it at? Oh, dude, that's where I shot it. Oh, heck yeah. Blood organ, red, medium amount, impurities, time to expire fast. Should be pretty good, looking good so far. Let's find that blood and... 
track it. All right, there's blood. Now we go to the next blood, and you can about see a little red line going straight up through here. Um, there's blood, here's blood, here's blood. This is exactly how it is in real life. You just go to piece and piece. You go where you just think it is. Once we get up here, looking for that blood trail. I ain't seen it no more. Did I potentially walk right over the animal? Oh, what happened here? Did it roll back down the hill? Oh, this is what I was waiting for. Look at a, look what a, uh-oh. Look what a detailed analysis. It hit a little bit high. Guess what? It's a 30-30. That's why it's still stinking died. What does all this mean? No way. What? You're telling me we get to watch the bullet? No way. And we get to look over here and see how much energy was actually transferred? Oh my goodness. Cavity damage? That means that the different bullets you pick will do different damage just for real life? Um, we're doing this again. <laughs> Smoked him. Hunter Call of the Wild, I really like that game, but so far this game's pretty sick. What did I hit? I got double lung right there. That is amazing. Let's go shoot a deer. <laughs> I check it. Deer has been located 600 and s about 700 yards away. I could take that shot, but I've only shot a few badgers in the game, so I'm definitely not really capable of making that shot yet. And plus another thing, which I think is going to be super interesting in this game, is seeing how your energy actually drops off at range. And that is why the closer you can get, the m better ability you're going to have to actually kill a deer. And so we're going to go ahead and start moving up. We're going to get as close as we can before we actually shoot this deer. If we can get within 200 yards, I'm pretty happy about it. Sub 100 yards, the 30-30 will eat. 200 yards is a little tough for this scope. Oh, snap, there's a deer. All right, let's go ahead and crouch so we can see that deer right there. I can't see what it is, though. You know me, though. I don't care. I don't need to see what it is. Fun fact, though, I think there's actually, like, juveniles in this game. So, like, literally, like, fawns in this game. And uh, so if it's brown, it's down. You could literally just shoot, like, Bambi. Which isn't bad. It's about 160 yards. If I can get up to that little hump and get over it, I'll be right on top of it. And I'll be able to put a killer shot on it. The wind's blowing this way. It's in a good direction. I'm gonna go ahead and just get my gun out. We should be probably within about 60, 70 yards of it. Then we just need to look, see which one, if any of them is a buck, and then try to shoot the biggest one. We should be coming up on them any second. What kind is it? Still... There's a doe, there's a doe, there's a doe. That one's also a doe. It looks like two does to me. Nope, there's a third one. Oh, there's another doe. Where do they come? Where are they coming from? That one's looking right at me. Oh, they went down the river. Oh, dang. Did I shoot two or was that the same one? I ain't sure. It's what we got blood tracking for. Man, that first shot looked pretty good, though. Let's look over here and see if we can find a blood trail. That looked like the same deer. Am I blind or something? Oh, here's blood. Here's blood. We got to figure out which way it went. Well, I know it went this way. Dude, there is no way I just didn't find this deer. Did I for real lose the deer? There's no way I lost the deer, right? I just figured out how to use my hunter sense, and it actually shows me a little bit more of where that deer actually went. So even though I couldn't see it, this revealed this little piece of blood. Now, this isn't much blood, and it's not very much to be too happy about, but we are on a blood trail. And looking at this, the deer actually came back around, and it looks like it came right through here. Now, I'll tell you, man, sometimes even in real life, geez, this is exactly how it is. There's just little bitty pieces of blood here and there. <laughs> Guys, guys, I don't want to be too loud, but look what a journey this has been. Tracking the blood all the way down here, and then finally, I found it in the bottom of this creek. What kind of shot did I make on it? Apparently, I must have made a terrible shot. Look, it's showing all the different things it hit. What dog did it hit? It hit all these different things, but moral of the story story it still took it a long time for it to kill it here's shot two shot two hit it right in the butt that's not gonna do a lot but it was a lot of cavitation shot one though maybe i just need to get a little bit lower fun fact though 
while I was tracking this one, I actually moved right up on a few more right over there. Now that one's 150 yards away. I think I'm going to crouch and I'm going to go into quietly walking. We're going to try to get redemption, guys. We're going to try to put one right where it needs to be. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the lever action. And when you use the lever action and use your hunter sense, you can kind of see how far it is and if you're going to have enough energy to put it down. Here we go. Let's go ahead and shoot this one. This one looks like it. Oh, and it's down. That's how it needs to be. That's how it needs to be. I specifically went a little bit more far forward than I usually would, simply because it was quartering towards me a little bit, and I wanted to hit that shoulder and kind of get it down a little bit faster. Immobilize it. Let's go check it out, though. That worked how we wanted it to. Straight up, though, first hour playing the game, I think I already messed up by running over all those deer. I don't know how these deer respawn, and me killing those deer could really hurt the amount of deer that I actually see in the game moving forward. But this shot went exactly how I wanted it to. This bullet went straight did it hit the heart no nah, but it was really close and the cavitation almost hit the heart it was a good shot that was a good shot it hit a lot of really important things until she just fell over subscribe to the channel if you're not already because episode two of way of the hunter we're going gun shopping and we're going to get an absolute deer hammer click right over here if you want to see the first time i ever played hunter call of the wild or right up here for the first time i ever played the hunting simulator 2. both of them was kind of cringy